I absolutely hate working night shift. So, I've done third shift a good por uh, not a good portion, but, you know, a decent amount of my working life. And I would never ever take another third shift job. That's one of the reasons I left my last job um, was to get away from third shift. Now I feel like my health is suffering significantly. I'm tired all the time. Like look at the bags under my eyes. Like this isn't okay. I'm not happy. I don't enjoy this shift. I don't enjoy sleeping for two or three days after I get off because I'm just so exhausted. And I don't, I don't wanna do this anymore. In the United States alone, the night shift is a reality for nearly 15% of the workforce. This includes the brave souls in emergency services like healthcare workers, EMT and police officers, and those in hospitality, long haul trucking, factories and warehouses that ensure the wheels of the economy keep turning around the clock. And make no mistake about it, working the night shift is hard, mentally and physically, no matter what type of job you're doing. Night shift work is like throwing your body into a wild roller coaster ride it never signed up for. Think about it, our bodies are wired to sleep at night and be active during the day. That's our natural beat. But when people work night shifts, it's like forcing the body to dance to a completely different beat. A beat that, for most, is simply impossible to catch on to. I average maybe four hours a day. And even on my nights off, I average maybe three and a half, four hours sleep. So I'm always tired. A study published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences followed 22 individuals who shifted from a day to a night shift pattern. The results were a wake-up call. Normally, 6% of our genes, which are like our body's instruction manuals, are timed to be active or inactive at specific times of the day. But for these night shift workers, this genetic fine-tuning was completely thrown off. Dr. Simon Archer from the University of Surrey explained how over 97% of rhythmic genes lost their sync with sleep timing. This disarray is why we feel so wrecked during jet lag or irregular shifts. It's not just about feeling tired, it's about the fundamental workings of our bodies getting scrambled. Professor Dirk Jan Dyke, another researcher on the team, revealed a further startling fact. Every tissue in our body has its own daily rhythm. On night shifts, the heart, kidneys and brain are all operating out of sync. This isn't just about feeling off kilter, it's a recipe for long-term health problems. In another compelling study conducted by Brigham and Women's Hospital, 21 people had their world turned upside down in a controlled environment to mimic the life of a night shift worker. The results? Eye-opening and worrying. Scientists put 21 healthy volunteers in isolated sleep labs for several weeks. By changing lights randomly and taking away clocks and other clues about time, they alter the subject's natural body clocks, allowing them five hours of sleep over a 28-hour period, scattered over various times of day and night. Within just a few days, when the volunteers ate, their bodies responded differently to the food, with apparent dangerous effects. Glucose levels went much higher and stayed that way for several hours. This was because of decreased insulin release from the pancreas. And together, these reflect an increased risk of diabetes. And the dangers of night shift work stretch way beyond just diabetes. The study showed that these irregular sleep patterns caused the body's metabolic rate to plummet by 8%. It sounds like just a number, but in real life, this could mean gaining around 12.5 pounds in just one year, a substantial health risk in and of itself. Now, shift your attention to this study that's been ongoing since 1976, involving more than 300,000 nurses. This research delves deeper into the long-term effects of night shift work and heart disease. Uh, especially about what exactly Doctor, did this study find? Right, so this study looked at data from more than 300,000 nurses. It's been an ongoing study um, since 1976. So, you know, we really have a good, uh, just a good amount of information. Uh, what they found was that nurses that worked night shifts for longer than 10 years had a 15% increased risk of having heart disease, uh, including heart attacks, including having uh, just um, clogged arteries that needed to have a procedure. Uh, and that's a really 
really significantly increased number. But what, what was particularly interesting about this is that they controlled for other factors. Like we know uh, some, some risk factors for heart disease. Smoking, uh, being overweight, being sedentary, having a poor diet. Once they even adjusted for all of those things, just working the night shift in and of itself was still a risk factor the for heart attacks. Essentially the stress on the circadian rhythm. Circadian rhythm is like your body's internal clock that runs on a 24-hour cycle. It controls when you feel awake and when you feel sleepy. During the day, bright sunlight tells your body it's time to be awake and your body releases cortisol, a hormone that keeps you alert. At night, when it gets dark, your body releases melatonin, a hormone that helps you feel sleepy and prepares your body for rest. Working night shifts can mess up this internal clock. Bright lights at night can make it hard for your body to produce melatonin, making you feel tired when you should be awake. This disruption is the gateway to health problems for so many night shift workers. Studies have even shown that working night shifts can be more harmful to your health than smoking cigarettes. This is because it can mess with your body's natural rhythms, making you more prone to diseases like cancer. Melatonin, which helps fight cancer, isn't produced as well when your circadian rhythm is disrupted. This can make your cells more vulnerable to damage and increase your risk of getting sick. A report by the CDC stated that in most studies, an excess risk of breast cancer was found mainly among women who had worked night shifts for many years or at high frequency, or who had worked a large number of night shifts over their lifetimes. And another study found the same for men. Heads up to all you men out there when you work and how long you sleep could actually affect your cancer risk. That study found that men who worked night shifts for more than 20 years had a 27% increased risk of cancer. But the struggles of night shift workers are not just limited to health. Your whole lifestyle gets hit in the process. The disconnect from normal life goes beyond sleep. When you're awake, the rest of the world sleeps. You miss out on evening gatherings, movies or plays, the stuff that makes social life sparkle. For parents working nights, joining in daytime school activities becomes a distant dream. Relationships too take a hit. Catching up with friends or spending quality time with a partner demands more effort and creativity when your schedule is the mirror opposite of theirs. On your days off, you're faced with a dilemma. Stick to your nocturnal routine and miss out on daytime activities or flip your schedule knowing you'll pay for it with extra fatigue, leaving many night shift workers depressed. Great y'all shift, night shift, 11 p to 7 a.m. in the morning, 7 p to 7 a.m. in the morning. Your girl hate it. I hate working night shift. I don't know what it is, but for some reason my body cannot adjust to work a night shift. And I gotta speak about this. Like some people can adjust to night shift, but I'm one of those, and some people can't. I'm one of those people that cannot adjust to night shift. I tried Amazon. When I first started Amazon, I was on night shift. I was on 8.15 p.m. to 4.45 a.m. And it did not work out for me at all. Like, I would like, get home at, and I wouldn't go to sleep till like six o'clock in the morning and I would sleep the whole entire day. I would sleep the whole entire day away and I would wake up feeling so freaking tired, so tired and like and then I would wake up and it's time for me to go right back to work. So I would literally feel like like I would literally feel like the whole day is gone because I slept the whole day and I was starting to get depressed like I didn't have no life. I was like, you know what, N working night shift is making me depressed. Like This juggling act is exhausting and disruptive. And then there's the return to work. The first shift back after days off feels like an insurmountable challenge. Your body, having tasted normal sleep, rebels against the night schedule, making staying awake even harder. The drive home post shift is another hurdle. Driving while sleep deprived is akin to driving drunk. The risk of losing focus or nodding off is dangerously high. It's a real worry for night shift workers who often finish their shifts in the early morning haze. Caffeine becomes your best friend, but it's a delicate balance. Too little and you're a zombie, too much or too late, and you're lying in bed staring at the ceiling because you're too caffeinated. 
A common fallacy among many night shift workers is that they think they can get the quality of sleep lost in the night back in the day. This, however, is the biggest lie that you can tell yourself regarding your health. Our body thrives on routine and sleep. Consistency in bedtime and sleep duration play crucial roles in our physical and mental well-being. This is also part of the things the night shift takes away from. Um, that's my laundry stacked up there because you think that, like I always thought in nursing school that once I graduated and I started as a nurse, that like my life would be perfectly back to the way that I wanted it. But honey, that's not true. Especially like the transition during the day was tough and now I'm transitioning at night and now my sleep is all messed up. Yeah, and I didn't even work yesterday. I got off work yesterday morning and then slept all day. I typically try to just nap on my first day off but I worked all weekend, so I'm, I was really tired, and I didn't. So then last night, I like forced myself to stay up until 10 o'clock last night, and then I went to sleep. Eight shift workers' immune systems find it hard to resist diseases like GI inflammation, brain tumors, dementia, and many more. Night shift work is also linked to sexual dysfunction, a greater inability to procreate, and it casts a long shadow on health, with effects echoing far into the future. But what's even more alarming than everything that we've stated and has been presented in this video so far is this. Anyone who's up between the hours of, you know, for more than two hours, between the hours of 10 p.m. and 4 a.m. is considered a shift worker. So it's, yes, there's a lot of, a lot of individuals walking around who are shift workers, but people who are, you know, literally up during the biological night, um, you know, it's, it's a huge sacrifice. We know those folks on average are going to die 15 years sooner. It is. You know, shift work is considered a carcinogen by the World Health Organization. It's, you know, shift work is, um, those folks make an enormous sacrifice. They're gonna die 15 years sooner. On average. The reality in this modern day world, however, is that for millions of Americans, working the night shift is simply unavoidable, but also better suited for those with certain personal responsibilities. So for those of you out there that are currently working the night shift, We've included links below in the description box with helpful tips on how to best take care of your mental and physical well-being while working those late hours. Thanks for watching, folks, and take care of yourselves.